shouldn't speak to your father like that. Beyond the biological, you don't even bear a passing resemblance. Can you believe this guy? I had no idea. Well, I mean, why would you? Mike Corbin. Huh? Corbin, um, who are you hiding from this time? Uh, why don't I leave you two guys alone? No, hey, it's okay, Luke. There's nothing personal going down here. Besides, you got a stake in this. He works for you. What's con, Mike? What angle are you playing? No angle. No? There's always an angle with you. Or you thought maybe you can pull a fast one on my partner. Well, even I am not up to a challenge like that. But you know, if you get that chip off your shoulder, Michael, oh, we can... Sonny! On. I'll explain. I'm gonna see what kind of man you'd become. Busy man. Should've called first. <laughs> Yeah, well, I figured the only thing I would hear on the other end of the line was a dial tone. Oh, come on, you know me. I rarely take the easy route when I can make it complicated instead. And these complications included ripping off my band's equipment and selling them to, to Luke as to ensure a warm welcome? Guy's a genius, huh? Well, I admit, the uh, speakers were a major mistake. Well, see, that's the thing about you, Mike. Your idea of a major mistake is just a, a no-class con to the rest of us. Uh, this, this. You fired him. You fired him. Sonny, that's the way you want to play it? I don't, I, don't, I don't care how it plays. I just want him on my side. Mike, I had you pegged for a con man, but I didn't know you were that good. I had no idea you and Sonny were related. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> you know, I, I think Sonny's taking this grudge thing too far. Grudge? Look, uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to play bartender, and you know what that means. That means I pour the drinks, and you fill me in with the truth this time. All right? But first things first, um, this squares us on the speakers. Sonny's mother was the most beautiful woman I had ever seen. Her fa family had fled from Havana and they landed in New York City. And uh, by that time, I guess we'd both been through our own personal versions of hell. I just gotten back from Nam. When was it? Early, before it was news. I pulled a full tour and was back in Brooklyn by 64. <laughs> I met Adela at a dance. We were both still kids, but there I was in my uniform, and I guess it made her feel safe. So we got married real fast, and uh, the baby came 10 months later. Sonny. Yeah, the only kid I got, as far as I know. And I was still wet behind the ears, and there I was, a family man. I wasn't bad at it, either. I had a good job at the Naval Yards, and... Well, Adela just... The gambling is what got to her. She just didn't understand. Another? Yeah, well, the booze didn't help, either. See, there was this poker club. And the first time I played, I won big. And I really, I really got hooked. And I was always trying to make a killing after that. Anything just to get us out of that miserable walk-up. I was doing it for her and the kid. Something tells me she didn't see it that way. Well, you'd think I was fooling around on her the way she acted. I mean, usually I was out late at the club or just hanging out with my buddies. And then the cutback started at the yard, and I didn't get along with my supervisor, so naturally I was one of the first to go. But I went right out, and I got myself a job driving a rig. 
I was much happier not having to work for anybody. I pulled these all-nighters to East Podunk and back just to keep food on the table. But every time I came home, it seemed like we were at each other's throats. It was never enough. So finally the point came where I just stopped coming home at all. How old was Sonny? I don't know. Maybe four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was four. I, uh, I caught a lot of grief for missing that birthday. She just didn't get it. And Sonny doesn't either. I'm just not the kind of guy that can stay in one place for long. You know what I mean? Sometimes. I was doing both a favor. She was free to marry again, which she did. <gasps> a cop. And that hurt. Because there was never anyone else for me but her. Not in that way. But she got herself a solid guy with a steady gig and a pension plan. Deke Woods. We never liked each other, but he took care of Adele and the kids, so I guess I owed him that. You never went back? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd show up once in a while and pick up Mike Jr. I guess he was already sunny by then. And I'd take him to the movies or Coney Island or the zoo. I even got him to a couple of Yankee games. But I didn't stay long. I, uh, I didn't feel welcome. And besides, I was usually uh, going somewhere else myself. Yeah, somewhere more important. Yeah, well, I, I told you about that. Short order cook, bartender, uh, rigger. I even tried Vegas for a while, but what the hell was the point? They, they don't even let you count cards anymore. No, it takes all the fun out of it. I guess uh, Sonny was 16 or 17. I found myself back in Brooklyn. But he had already split by then. Maybe he's more like his old man than he likes to think. And Adela... I don't know, something had happened. She got real old, real fast. And it upset me. Don't get me wrong, she was still beautiful. But I just couldn't bring myself to see her again. It's hard when they turn all weak on you. Anyway, I guess it was six or seven years later, uh, last time I saw Sonny. I was at Belmont, though. I had a tip. <laughs> Lost me a month's wages. <laughs> And there was Sonny with a couple of real sharp-looking guys. And at first, I don't think he recognized me. He just stared at me like I was some kind of stranger. And that's when he told me about Adela. She had died. And Deke, before her. He could see that I was shaken up, so... Uh, he gave me a C-note, which was decent of him. Although the suit he was wearing was probably worth ten times that. And that was the last time I saw him until now. Which explains everything. Except why you're here. I was at a funeral in December. A friend of mine from Nam. And I started thinking about... How Adela was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. And how Sonny didn't have a mother or Deke anymore. I actually thought that he uh, might need me. I actually thought he might miss having a family. Or vice versa. I never had much of a relationship with my own father, so I guess history repeats itself. Not always. Not with me and my kid. You know, Luke, I just wasn't cut out to be a father. You know, Mike, we could all say that. That's a pretty lousy excuse. Well, maybe... Listen. 